Jeff Mazansky has had the lone status of being the only man in Missouri serving life in prison without parole for nonviolent marijuana offenses. After more than two decades in maximum security prison, that changed when Governor Jay Nixon commuted Mazansky's sentence. The governor's decision doesn't free Mazansky, but allows for a parole hearing. Before the governor's action, Mazansky would never leave a Missouri prison alive. With this new development, I return to the Jefferson City Correction Center to talk to Jeff Mazansky about his renewed hope for freedom. I also talked to his son and his lawyer about the commutation. I asked his son Chris about thinking of his father dying all alone in his prison cell. Yep, yep. Uh, thought about it many, many times. It's, it's, it's a horrible thing. And you got the news. Uh, from you, actually. It blew me away. <laughs> uh, actually, I was at a loss of words. I was driving down the road and I had to I had tears in my eyes and I, I could even talk to you. I was amazed. His dad also clearly remembers learning that his life without parole sentence had been commuted by Governor Nixon. Well, I was uh, in, in my uh, cell. We watched the TV and uh, the door popped open, which is an unusual time. What did you think was happening? I had no idea. I went back to caseworker's office and they had me sit down and uh, uh, she caseworker got on the phone, made a telephone call, and called the uh, warden. And I got on the phone with him. He handed me the phone, and he says, uh, Ms. Ansky, I said, yeah. He says, uh, have you been in touch with your lawyer lately? I said, no, I haven't. Why do I need to be? You know, <laughs> first thing I'm thinking about, well, what kind of trouble I get into now? <laughs> you know, without even realizing it. And he said, no, he says, uh, but you might, might want to call him. He said, because the uh, governor just signed your paperwork. You know, and I just kind of went into shock from there, basically, I think. What will you say to the governor right now? Thank you. Uh, I wish you'd done a little quicker, but I'm sure he had his reasons for waiting. You know, um, basically it was my last chance. Jeff Mazansky's attorney, Dan Veets, mm -hmm. says freeing his client is many years yeah. overdue. Punishment that was inflicted on Jeff Mazansky was the very harshest punishment our society can inflict on anyone short of the death penalty. Veets is well known for his advocacy to decriminalize and even legalize marijuana. Veets and pro-pot groups like Normal and Show Me Cannabis have led the push to free Jeff Mazansky. Uh, it is simply too much time, no matter what you think about marijuana, serving more than 21 years in prison. Someone who's never committed an act of violence or been accused of anything other than small marijuana offenses certainly should not be kept in our prison for more than 21 years. As a lawyer, do you consider this cruel and unusual punishment? Yes, absolutely. Absolutely. I, it's cruel. And there's no question, thank goodness, it is relatively unusual. I'm 62. You want this for yourself, you know. My parents died. Uh, my family's grown up. I got grandkids, great grandkids. A lot of them I've never even seen. Your son was just a teenager when you came in. Yes. As far as my dad's time, I, I'm, I feel that he's done well over the amount that he should have been there, and I love him, and I, I you know, my whole family does, and we just hope that they would do the right thing and get him out here back with his family because he's a good guy and he deserves to be you know out here to live the rest of his life with us so aside from seeing his family and friends and meeting the newer members of his family Mazansky says he'll also have a new mission i'd like to get out there and work with some uh, younger people kids adult, young adults uh, that are having troubled times out there that are possibly heading to prison and uh, if I can talk with them, because, you know, I can talk their language. I've been around these people a long time. And uh, being that I'm from here and been part of it, I think it's maybe uh, somebody that they'll listen to. And I can tell them about prison, the things they're going to miss, the things they're, you know, what's going to happen to them if they can stay on the same path. And I think, Bob, if I can keep one or two of them out of prison, it'd be worth it. But Mazansky knows his freedom is far from guaranteed. Of course, parole is a, a privilege, it's not a right. So just because you have an opportunity to get parole don't mean you're going to get parole. 
Jeff Mazansky's parole hearing is set for August 6th. Dan Veets tells me he'll make the parole board aware of the hundreds of thousands of signatures to free Mazansky, along with a petition for the same thing from nearly 150 members of the Missouri General Assembly. If you're interested in weighing in on Jeff Mazansky's parole, we put an address for the street and an email address for the parole board in this story on our website, abc17news.com.